I mean, amazing beaches. That's definitely what lured me in and kept me here. Being able to wake up and surf and go to work is a pretty awesome feeling. There's tons of great little pockets and neighborhoods. Or you can even go 20 miles farther south and be in another country. And all those things are just, can't do that really anywhere else in the U.S. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's a pretty undervalued city in a lot of ways. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Mike. Together we started Naughty Taps. When we first started, all we had was two chairs and a table about yay big, and it was just in the garage. After the garage, we went to another shop, and we were there for about two years, and then we moved here and scaled up quite a bit more. Our first tap panel project was actually someone who came to purchase a pair of glasses from us, and they really loved our craftsmanship and our work. So we basically took the same mold for our sunglasses and made a tap handle. When we first started making eyewear, we contracted out some of the work uh, to a skateboard factory. And around that same time, we started making the tap handles. It's nice to have someone local we can just drive down the street to and have something super custom to start with. What excites me most about visiting Naughty Taps is getting to see their process. I heard that they have an awesome shop and that they really know what they're doing, so it's very exciting to be able to check it out in person. The process is pretty involved. It starts by sourcing the material. If it's lumber, we have to cut it down to rough size so we can get it planed and milled and eventually get it to the CNC. A CNC machine is a computer numeric controlled machine and what it's doing is it's basically taking a CAD file and almost like the way Battleship works with like a XYZ system, um, it's moving a five horsepower router bit around so we can get really detailed within like thousands of an inch based off any shape we want to input into the machine. Once the main shapes are cut out, a lot of painting is involved. Once it gets painted, we have to go through the buffing process and painting it again. And at that point, we're either going to start assembling other details on it, whether it's laser cut pieces of acrylic or whether it's different types of uh, digital printed pieces that get attached to it. Eventually we bring it to the table where we're assembling all the items and screen printing and getting the final clear coat on it, at which point we let it dry, give it one more buff and one more clear coat, and it, then it's just a matter of putting on the final bits of hardware, like the bottom ferrule, and packaging it. Getting to see the final product at the end of the day and a project that we've been working on for so many months is amazing. Smaller steps, Dave. <laughs> I'm excited to introduce the guys to Scott Blair, the owner of Hamilton's Tavern in South Park. Uh, he's a total tap handle nut, as you can tell by all the tap handles lining the ceiling of his bar. I think uh, they're going to be very excited to meet him. Brought some friends in. It's Matt, Matt Mike, pleasure to meet you. Scott. Mike, pleasure to meet you. Want a beer? Lovely. Yeah, we were hoping to grab some beers and kind of rap with you about the bar a little bit and beer in general. You guys want to grab a seat? Yeah. yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. Thanks for having us, man. Haven't seen you in a long time, man. Yeah, it's, it's been a you. while. Wanted to bring these guys over, uh, Naughty Taps, Tap Handle guys. I know they've been here before and they appreciate your love of Tap Handles, but I was hoping to, I mean, I think that's obvious, but I was hoping you could talk to us a little bit about, you know, the start of Hamilton's and just kind of the craft beer scene in San Diego and sure. you know, just lay it on us. 
simple simple story is it's 2006 I'm a home brewer the uptown here was not that big into any craft it was all owned and distributed by the big big uh, core brands Anheuser Coors Miller that they dominated tap lists I used to come to this bar when it was called Sparky's uh, a lot of people don't understand but that, uh, that this place is the oldest beer and wine license in San Diego and I always had this dream of having my own pub and so this place uh, the lease was up and it was going to come into the market and I felt like now is the time better than ever. I was uh, heavily into craft beer and I felt like I could make an impact by doing something different. I never imitate shit. I always do my own thing the way that I want to do it. And I wanted to be a champion for our local brewers because I never fought, felt like they were ever getting a fair shake. And I felt like I knew that what the hell I was doing. So in 2006, Sparky shuttered. We opened Hamilton's Tavern, named after Herman Hamilton, and I set out to be the champion of little beer, one of them. You know, when you want a, an awesome craft beer, and you want to listen to some loud rock and roll music and play some pool and eat some delicious hamburgers, that you're going to roll over to Hamilton's. Like, So it's a dope place, and I'm, I'm stoked that um, you've been a big Green Flash supporter for so many years. It's, it's all fond memories. I've, 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 uh, we made our anniversary beer, many, many award-winning beers, like Palette Wrecker, uh, during a hop crisis. So that's kind of like my foray into Green Flash. If you actually just look around, we have multiple iterations of Green Flash tap handles uh, from day one to all the new iterations and, and these beautiful handles that these guys had uh, just worked up for you guys. And Well, we have a new Green Flash handle uh, and we wanted to give it to you. Let's see it. it. Check it out. Let us know what you think. Super sexy. It's very clean, it's very contemporary, but it also has history in there. You know, it's just really, really well designed. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. We have West Coast IPA on right now, so let's switch it up. Cool. Put it right up there. Thank you so much for having us today, and it's always a pleasure hanging out. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. I'll tell you what, you guys are doing really good work. Cheers, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Here's Cheers. to you. Cheers. Adios. We're going back to the Naughty Tap shop to have a little party with some friends from around the area. I'm bringing some beer by, and we're all gonna hang out and celebrate the final product of our tap handle being created. How's the beer tasting? Cold and delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much to Mike and Matt for having us over. Those guys are true craftsmen, and it's amazing to see the intricacy that is involved in creating the products that they do. Guys, just want to throw a toast to Green Flash and their rebrand. Dave, thanks for having us. It's been great being a part of the journey. Look forward to lots of projects to come and good beer to drink. All right. Cheers, All right. guys. Cheers, guys. Salud. Thank you, everybody, for coming.